In the aftermath of the October 7th attacks by Hamas, Israel's focus immediately turned to war and to identifying the bodies of those slaughtered by Hamas in Israel's largest mass casualty attack. But now Israel is launching an investigation into allegations of rape and other forms of sexual violence on that deadly day. Israeli police are starting to build rape cases, relying on eyewitness testimony, video, and forensic evidence, as well as Hamas interrogations. Dr. Kochav el Kayam Levy, named chair of the Civil Commission on October 7th crimes by Hamas against women and children, points to one reason why the investigations have been so difficult. We'll never know everything that has happened to them. We know that most women who were raped and who were sexually assaulted were also murdered. And it will take time, even in other atrocities, it takes time until the crimes against women are revealed, until survivors even share their stories. Still, CNN found witnesses to the atrocities and their aftermath. G, a paramedic in Israel's elite 669 Special Tactics Rescue Unit, went house to house in Kibbutz Be'eri, one of the sites of the worst massacres. He did not want to be identified on camera. While we're storming through those houses, one of the doors uh, I open, it's a bedroom. I see two girls, two teenagers, uh, I guess 13 or 14 years old. One is lying on the floor, one is lying on the bed. One on the floor, she's lying on her stomach. Her pants are pulled down towards her knees, and there's a... a bullet wound on her, the back side of her neck near her head, and there's a puddle of blood around her, her head, and there's remains of, um, of semen on the lower part of her back. G says the other teenage girl also appeared to have been assaulted. There's a bullet wound on the upper part of her chest, and there's bruises all over her body. So, you know, these are two girls that were just killed, executed, perhaps uh, also raped in their own bedroom. Israeli police say the bodies at Shura, one of a handful of sites where dead bodies are brought for identification, show trauma consistent with rape and assault. Morgue workers say these women did not die peaceful deaths. 